Valika Katu Sankaranashuthanandan, is an Indian politician who was the Chief Minister of Kerala from 2006 to 2011. He served as the Chairman of Administrative Reforms in Kerala with State Cabinet rank from 2016 to 2021. He was also a former three times leader of the opposition of Kerala State. Ashuthanandan was a member of the CPI Politburo from 1985 until July 2009, when he was reverted to the Central Committee of the Party owing to his ideological dispositions. He is a mass leader respected for his integrity. Ashuthanandan initiated various actions as the Chief Minister, including, the demolition drive in Munnar which claimed back acres of illegally occupied land, the demolition drive in Kochi MG Road which claimed back the long-lost shoulder of the road. Anti-piracy drive against film piracy, his struggle against the lottery mafia in the state. He was instrumental in convicting former minister Arbala Krishna Palai on charges of corruption. Ashuthanandan also took the lead in promoting free software in the state, and especially in adopting free software in the public education system of the state. Versus at NGO State Meet 2012 colon versus at NGO State Meet 2012 colon born on October 20, 1923 to Sankaran and Akama in Punapra, Alapuza, Travancore. He lost his mother when he was four years old and subsequently lost his father at age 11. This forced him to quit his studies after finishing seventh standard in school and college he started working by helping his elder brother in a village tailoring shop. Later he took up the job of mesh and coir to make ropes at a coir factory. V.S. started his early political life by organizing the agricultural workers in Kutanadu. He was a well-dedicated organizer of coir factory workers at the age of 16 under A.K. Gopalan and A.V. Kunjambu. Even though V.S. Ashuthanandan lacked formal education, he was noted for his simplicity, dedication and deep reading. He was initiated into the political movement by P. Krishna Pillai. Later he participated in the freedom movement and the communist movement. V.S. was in the forefront of the Panapravayalar uprising against the policies of C.P. Ramaswamy Iyer, Devan of Travancore who wanted to establish an American model government in Travancore. He was arrested on October 28, 1946 and was taken to Punjar police station. He was beaten up severely in the lockup. Policemen pierced his soul in both legs with bayonet. V.S. spent five and a half years in jails and four years underground during his political life. V.S. Ashuthanandan was in the forefront of the land struggles in Kerala starting with the Alapuza Declaration in 1970 demanding implementation of the Land Reforms Act passed by the EMS government in 1967. Later his activities as the leader of the opposition in the Kerala Assembly had evoked good public response. Versus at Payana Railway Station he entered politics through trade union activities and joined state congress in 1938. In 1940 he became a member of the Communist Party of India. During his 40 years as a politician he was imprisoned for five years and six months and was in hiding for four and a half years. He was a state secretariat member of the CPI in 1957. He is the only living Keralite among the 32 members who left the CPI National Council in 1964 to form the CPI. He was the secretary of the Kerala State Committee between 1980 and 1992. He was a member of the CPI Politburo since 1985 until he was removed as a party disciplinary action. He is the senior most leader of CPI in India. Ashuthanandan has served many positions in his long political career. He was the Kerala State Secretary of the CPI between 1980 and 1992 and he became a member of the Politburo in 1985. He has also been active in parliamentary politics. He was elected as a member of Kerala Legislative Assembly in 1967, 1970, 1991, 2001, 2006, 2011 and 2016. He was the leader of opposition in the Kerala Legislative Assembly from 1992 to 1996, from 2001 to 2006 and from 2011 to 2016. He was the editor of CPI Mouthpiece in Malayalam, Disabhimani Daily. He was the chief ministerial candidate for 1996 state elections. In those elections, LDF gained 80 out of 140 seats, but Ashuthanandan, who contested for Murare Kulam in Alapuza district, lost by a margin of 1965 votes. Thus, E.K. Nayanar, who held the position twice earlier, became chief minister again. During the assembly elections held in Kerala in April to May 2006, versus Ashuthanandan defeated Saithis and Pacini of the United Democratic Front by a margin of 20,017 votes in Malampuza constituency in Palakkad district. He was sworn in as chief minister of Kerala on May 18, 2006, with his 21-member cabinet. Aged 82 years and 7 months at time, 
he was the oldest chief minister of Kerala, and one of the oldest in the whole India. It is noticeable that he had been denied a party ticket to contest elections just two months before he sworn in. He became the 11th chief minister of Kerala. On July 12, 2009, the CPI Politburo and Central Committee removed him from the PB for his stance taken in relation to the accusation and legal procedures against Pinarayi Vijayan and his reported involvement in the Lavlin bribery. The CPI denied a seat to Ashutanandan for the 2011 assembly election. Protests took place across the state and even on social networking sites such as Twitter, Facebook and via SMS. In what can be considered as a near repeat of the 2006 pre-election build-up. The Politburo of CPI M impressed upon the state leadership to permit versus Ashutanand and to contest elections for the April 2011 assembly election in Kerala. Versus Ashutanand and contested from the Malampoza constituency and won with a margin of around 25,000 votes. It was the versus factor that had created history in the 2011 elections with the opposition front UDF winning the elections on the margin of 72 to 68 assembly seats. This is considered as loss for UDF as they were ahead in 100 constituencies during the 2009 Lok Sabha election. After this election versus has been considered the man behind the uprising of LDF after the 2009 parliament and 2010 municipal election loses. After decades of a consistent pattern of swing between two coalition in the state elections, where people voted against the incumbent government consistently. Ashutanandan boast of a government with a no anti-incumbency factor ending in a 68-72 tally in the 140-seat state assembly elections. VS campaigning for LDF candidate VB Binu in Kondropoli legislative constituency. On May 12, 2013, three of his personal staffs VK Sasudaran, a. Suresh and K. Balakrishnan were ousted by the Politburo, which was entrusted by the CPI Central Committee to decide on the action to be taken against them. They were expelled on charges of leaking information to media, according to CPI. With the decision, Ashutanandan's our tribal and Communist Party of India Marxist, State Secretary Pinarayi Vijayan appears to have won. The State Committee of the party where Vijayan has a huge majority also wanted Ashutanandan to be removed from the post of Leader of Opposition but this was not done. This is a clipping of the wings of Ashutanandan, said K.M. Shah Jahan. In the 2016 Kerala Legislative Assembly election, the left Democratic Front secured a huge win with a total of 91 seats in 140 Assembly constituencies. At the age of 92, Ashutanandan travelled across the state campaigning for the party with much vigour. Ashutanandan contested this election for Malampuza constituency, where he won by a margin of 27,142 votes with C. Krishna Kumar ending up as the runner-up. Being the face and most recognizable leader of the front, it was assumed that he would be the chief minister. However considering his advanced age and failing health, the state and central leadership appointed Pinarayi Vijayan as the chief minister instead. Ashutanandan was appointed as chairman of the Administrative Reforms Commission on August 3, 2016. CPI dubbed him as Fidel Castro of India for his active role in the communist movement in Kerala in general, and winning the elections, in particular. The anti-reclamation stir launched by the Kerala State Karshaka Thashalala Union at Mankampu in 1996-97, under the leadership of Ashutanandan created much controversy. This stir was claimed to be highlighting the serious problem of the massive conversion of paddy fields into other type of land, affecting the food security of the Kerala but this soon developed into a crop destruction drive. The protest got the sobriquet following the violent methods and crop destruction resorted to by the Xtu Kadri. The stir attracted a lot of public attention and Ashutanandan was forced to express his disapproval of any destruction of crops. Fifteen years later, in November 2011, a UDF minister, who is politically opposed to Ashutanandan, justified this struggle. Janata Dal socialist leader and minister for agriculture, K.P. Mohanyanan said such a struggle was necessary as conversion of paddy fields to other type of crops is a serious concern. Thanks for watching.